My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? So my Sweetwater Gear Fest order came in, and I wanted to unbox it and share with y'all what I got. And we'll talk a little bit about why I purchased uh, what I purchased this year. Alright, so first thing in the box is, this is the PreSonus Audio Box I2. Uh, they were, they had these in the deal zone for $99. This is the MicTech DH80. Uh, these are brand new. They just started shipping uh, new headphones from Mic Tech. I think I've got these for about $80, $82. Uh, they're normally $99. And the biggest thing in the box here. So it's the WA-2A from Warm Audio. I've been really wanting a LA-2A recently, uh, so I decided to pick this up. Uh, this was 809 was the Gear Fest uh, price for this. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about these. So the PreSonus Audio Box I2, uh, like I said, this was $99. It was a no brainer for me to pick this up because I never know when I'm gonna need a portable interface. Uh, I recently helped uh, Mandy Cop with her album release party and I had to unrack my Profire 2626 and bring it down to the venue. If I had a portable interface, I would have been a lot better off. Also, um, another reason for purchasing this is this will come with the PreSonus Studio Magic Bundle, I believe is the name of it, uh, where it comes with some plug-in Alliance plugins, uh, the Mog EQ2, uh, the BX Opto, um, there's a Lexicon Reverb, Event Tide. Uh, the, those plugins are worth more than $99. So again, this was a no-brainer uh, move here. So basically for $99, I got the interface. I'm going to get those. Um, plugins for free uh, they'll be uh, should be deposited in my uh, PreSonus account once I register uh, this interface but a really good deal for $99 the mic tech DH80 uh, so like I say these are brand new or they're semi open reference headphones if you go back to my summer nam i believe it was 2015 video uh, i first saw these there and i really liked them and you know I, I told mike that i would pick some up when they become available and they just started shipping uh, they also have the dh90 uh, closed back uh, headphones that i might check out uh, but for what i do uh, i i wanted some reference headphones and i normally use the akg k240s uh, which are good in my opinion, but I wanted to see how these would uh, compare to them uh, So I will give you my first impressions once I get these unboxed and uh, give them some run So as y'all know I love opto compressors and the most famous opto compressor out there is the LA-2A. Uh, like I said, I've really been wanting an LA-2A style compressor, and I actually decided to get the Stam Audio one, but I emailed them and they didn't email me back, so I decided to go ahead and get the warm. I was also looking at the Acme Audio uh, Optocom up in the 500 series. I was also looking at the IGS Audio uh, 1LA. Uh, I decided to get the warm audio one because it has uh, four tubes. I think the IGS has two. 
I don't know how many of the Acme has, but I, I do like the features of the Acme. Uh, the only thing that really stopped me from getting the Acme is that I do have the plug-in, and I love it. However, I love the plug-in so much that uh, I still kind of want the hardware. I, I feel that if the, the plug-in sounds you know, that good, that, that the hardware uh, would be even better. Uh, but for now, I'm going to, like I said, go with this WA-2A. Uh, I've got it. I uh, just got finished racking it up and got the tubes warming up, so I'm going to be uh, running some signal through it soon. And I might do a first impressions video on that as well. So uh, to wrap up everything with GearFest this year, I will say it was crazy crowded this year. It, every year it's more and more people. Um, I saw the email that I've saw for the last seven years today that it broke records of attendance uh, like it does every year uh, but uh, I was surprised to see uh, here is a new mic from Manly so gear fest really isn't a, a gear expo where a lot of new stuff is introduced that's normally saved for AES and NAM uh, but I did see a few new products and this this is this is a Manly uh, reference microphone I forgot the price tag on it uh, but it's not it'll be shipping soon it's not out yet uh, but they did have one available and it looks really nice I've used um, a manly microphones before in the studio and they sound incredible uh, the next thing there is a dangerous music a to d converter coming uh, fab had it on stage using it uh, we all ran to the dangerous booth and it was not there uh, they're not ready to launch it yet but you know, Fab has one and is using it. It is coming soon. Uh, really interesting to see what Dangerous does on that front with the A to D conversion. I absolutely love their D to A conversion, and I expect uh, nothing less from their A to D conversion. And as far as swag, this shirt from Antares uh, is <laughs> this is the best shirt I've gotten from uh, Pro Audio. This shirt is awesome. Uh, I was really glad to uh, to pick one of these up. Uh, but that's it. That's wrapping up uh, Gear Fest 2017. Um, it's a free event, so if, you, if you're near uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, definitely come out and check it out. It's absolutely free. You just have to get there. And uh, they already announced uh, the dates for Gear Fest 2018. Uh, which I haven't seen them do before, already have it ready, which I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's June 15th through the 18th or something, or 16th through the 18th, something like that. But because if you Google GearFest 2018, those dates will come up, or I'm sure you can find them on Sweetwater site as well, because like I said, they were already promoting the dates for next year. All right, I'll catch you all next time.